What's going on guys, Junius Tech here back to another video. Now I did a video regarding a new mechanical keyboard I got, which was this one, which was the Logitech uh, G951 or G915, can't remember which one it was, but it was the new line of light speed uh, mechanical keyboards, ultra thin, 100%, all that good stuff. And you know, the mouse I've been using for a while now has been the Logitech MX Master, and I have no issues with it whatsoever. It is an absolutely brilliant mouse, no issues. But for the likes of gaming, it is quite bulky. It's quite annoying sometimes, you know, with the it has a pressure plate on the bottom and I seem to hit it continuously and it drives me insane. So I thought, I've got the Lightspeed keyboards. Why don't I go for, like, say, one of the Lightspeed mice, uh, mice or mysises or mysises? I'm not sure what the plural is. So I went for the G703, which is this one. Now, today we're talking about one of our favorite companies, which is VIP SCD Key. So, as you can see, we are on their website here, VIP SCD Key, and we're talking about the Windows 10 Pro OEM Key Global. The VIP SCD Key, I've currently got it on Great British Pounds at £15.93. But I've got a little surprise for you. So, what we're going to do is actually go down to the Buy Now section, which is uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM Key for £15.93. But, I have a discount code for you guys. For you guys watching, if you use the discount code SKJT, SKJT and click on apply. This is going to allow you for 30% off your order. So as you can see, this has went down to £11.15 of a discount of £4.78p. So after you've done that, you've put in the discount code SKJT. We're going to head down to the bottom and click on submit order. As soon as we've submitted our order, we can then go through the process of buying it. I use PayPal because I use PayPal all the time. So I'm going to click on PayPal. I'm going to go through the process and then we're going to go to the assembly afterwards. So I'll be back in a second. So as we can see, there is my order. I have ordered the Windows 10 Pro OEM key global. So we're going to click on view keys and codes on the right hand side. And, uh, our order has been submitted. We've paid for it. It's processed and it's complete. So that means now we can actually get our key and activate Windows 10. So we're going to click on get the key. What we're going to get is two things. We're going to get our order number on the left hand side. And in the middle, we're going to get our uh, Windows code. That is what you need to actually activate it. So mine's going to be blurred out, but yours won't be. So I'm going to click on get the key. And as we can see, like I said, on the left order number and in the middle is my code slash card. So this is the key I'm going to use to activate Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to click on control C to copy it. And then we're going to go over the settings and activate it. So I'm going to click on the settings tab. In the top left hand corner, I'm going to type in activate, activation settings. On here, it says change product key. So I'm going to click on change. Don't worry about it. it's red. That's just the way I've got Windows set up. I'm going to click on Control and V. And I've done that now. So all I need to do is click on Next. What Windows is going to do then is actually check to see if this is a genuine key. And it's actually going to go for the process and use this key. I'm going to click on Next. And there we go. So by activating Windows, you get the best experience free from eruption. So it's already checked to make sure this is a genuine key, which it is. I'm going to click on Activate and we are done and dusted. So now we have just went for Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Now I want to tell you about Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus CD key. What this is offering you is that Great British Pounds is currently at 52 pounds and two pence. It's already been re-reduced -re -re down from 339. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a better discount. So we're going to go to buy now. It's going to send this over to the page. And as soon as it sends over this, you know the score. We're going to type in the discount code SKJT. So I'm going to do that now, SKJT. Click on apply. What this is going to do, it's going to give you 30% off your price. There we go straight away. So Great British Pounds were at £36.41 of a discount of £15.61. Now that alone is an amazing deal. So what we're going to do from here, we're going to go submit our order and we're going to do the same. We're going to buy it. I'm going to choose PayPal because it's what I use. So there we go. I just went through the process of showing you how to get Windows 10 Pro OEM key and Microsoft 2021 Professional for some amazing prices just because of this discount code SKJT. So if you are going to go over and head over and actually get one of these, one of the two, don't forget to use that discount code. It's going to benefit you in the long run. But the one thing I like about VIP SCD key is their other trains, their other platforms. So they do everything from Steam, Origin, Uplay, PlayStation, PC, gift cards, and Plus. So, so they have so many keys available. Gift cards, for instance, this allows you to get gift cards at a re-reduced price as well and allowing you to get, you know, Steam cards, PlayStation cards, all that good stuff for so much of a lower price. 
So if this is something you are going to be interested in, please head down the links in the description. All the links are going to be there, so you can head straight to them and go check them out. And don't forget to use the discount code SKJT. So guys, like I said, this is what we're taking a look at, and this is the Logitech Lightspeed Gaming Mouse, and this is the G703 version. So I did a previous video a little while ago talking about Logitech's new G915 Lightspeed uh, mechanical keyboard and it turned out really good. So this is what we're going to be taking a look at today and I'm quite excited because this is going to be my new mouse compared to what I've been using then which is the Logitech uh, MX Master which has served me really well and I'm still going to be using but I think we'd have a look at this. So what we're going to do is get this unboxed, see what we'll get in the box and go from there. So what we get in the box is we get a little Logitech sticker going on. Uh, we get a little bit of how to actually set it up and actually how to connect this uh, to the device, including the extra magnet we get with this device. Uh, we have a little bit about safety notes, which always comes with our products. And then a little bit about the power supply for the mouse, which is not important. What we'll want to see is the mouse itself. So first of all, we do get a, uh, a micro USB cable, but it does have a little funny end on it. Like if you can see that with the little two prongs, we'll come into that a little bit later. And then we also get the receiver itself. Now, this is the exact same receiver that we got with the Lightspeed keyboard. So like I said, you've got micro USB on that side, and then you have your USB dongle on that side, which also comes with it. And then we have the mouse itself. So on the inside, you do get a little weight. Now this is, when it wants to focus, this is a 10 gram weight. This is just gonna allow you to either use the mouse without it, or it depends on how uh, how much of a weight you want added to your mouse. And then what it does is simply just clicks back in like that and you are pretty much done and dusted. It really takes no time at all. Now the mouse itself. Now if we compare it to one of the older ones that I was using, which is the Logitech MX, the Logitech MX Master, now, there is obviously a lot of differences. I have to admit, I've been using this mouse now for quite some time and I've had no issues whatsoever. It's comfy. It's it's just all around a great mouse. There is obviously a big size difference, but I'm looking more into something more comfortable for the likes of gaming. Now, obviously, it is extremely nice, I have to admit. So, a little bit on the look around of the mouse. So, we have our basic right and left clickers, which are extremely tactile. We do have the center scroll wheel, which is very nice. You've got um, a DPI switch on the side, and then we also have two more on the uh, opposite side of the controller. I do like these because using the Logitech uh, software, we can reprogram, uh, reprogram them. Now on the top, they've got more of a black gloss going on the side here, a, a more of a, a, a black matte gloss going on with the Logitech logo, I believe that will illuminate when we do have this connectors, when I show you some shots later when we go from the specifications. Uh, that's one of them. But on the sides, on, on the palm grip, where you're actually gonna be gripping the mouse, there is actually like a smooth rubber. So when you actually grab the mouse, your hand is stuck to it pretty much. So instead of it just all being the soft material, you know, when you are gaming, you're moving this around. So if we look onto the front of the mouse, as we can see here is where our USB port is. And that's where the little prongs come into action. Obviously, when you plug that in, it does smoothly click in like that. So yes, you can still use the mouse and it just looks a little bit better and it adds to that more of a secure connection, which I do quite like. Um, it's different. I definitely haven't seen it before, but it's definitely something I do like. On the bottom of the mouse, we do have the rubber feet, which are a uh, one at the front, one at the rear. And I know I've seen plenty of videos online at the moment and the center. Uh, you can change these out. You can get them on Amazon for next to nothing just to allow you to have more of a, a smoother feel, I believe. I'm not sure how far I'll go into that. Uh, I'm probably gonna see how this works for the first few weeks and then maybe transfer over. And then we just have our center in the center and then we also have our on off switch. Now, as I said before, when you do turn this on, we do have an LED strip going through the center of the scroll wheel as well as on the back of the mouse, which is the nice uh, Logitech logo. And that's pretty much just gonna pulse through all the different RGB colors. And I have to admit, I do like it. It really is a very nice mouse. So there we have it guys, that was the Logitech uh, G703, nearly forgot the name, the G703, and I have to admit, I actually quite like it, I'd say price as well, but price and size comparison, there is not massive amount of difference, you know, the MX Master is a lot bulkier, it's a lot wider, and it does have a few extra switches on there that I, that I did actually like, especially when it came to edit my videos, but I think I'm going to keep it on my desk for that exact reason, 
because it does have three different Bluetooth options on there, so I can always connect it to a separate PC as I'm gonna as I'm building a streaming PC, an everyday PC, and an editing PC. A little bit overkill, but I've got that many parts, I can actually build up three PCs now and actually have all of my own. So that's what I think I'm gonna be doing in the in the foreseeable future. But I definitely have to say the G703 is definitely gonna be my daily driver, especially when it comes to my gaming PC, my ordinary PC. So this is definitely what I'm going to be choosing. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this mouse, drop them down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. But by all means, thanks very much for Logitech. And as always, thanks very much for today's sponsor, which was VIP SCD Key.